missed out on anything. Most probably financially, missed out on a few bucks, you know. But um, artistically, creatively, I actually think I'm in a better position than they are. Yeah. Because I'm free to play whatever kind of music I want. You're not going to see Keith Richards or somebody, someone like that, you know, go play in a jazz group or play some other kind of, you know, stretch out and diversify. So I'm free to diversify, you know, and, and I think that's, I enjoy that kind of a freedom. I've always known, it's always been quite apparent, Caleb's love of jazz. And it, I think that goes with his family and, and his dad to a certain extent. And the person who told me about Caleb's band was Denny Sywell, who's a dear friend of mine. Denny was Paul McCartney's first drummer in the band Wings after Paul left the Beatles. And Denny's a dear friend of mine. And uh, he said, you gotta check out Caleb's um, New band, he said, they're a sweet sounding thing and Caleb's playing his ass off and I knew he was anyway. I, I thought, well, I take that for granted because Caleb is one of my favorite players. He's a brilliant guitar player. I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised at all. Uh, I'm more surprised when people who I consider to be talented do something stupid and do something dumb nowadays, you know. Because, uh, you know, we've all, we've all been fortunate enough to, to reach a certain age in our lives. You know, why screw it up, you know? If you've got a chance to do something else, do what you're good at, you know, whether it's being a bricklayer or a musician, whatever, you know, do it well. And Caleb's doing his thing really well, you know, so uh, God bless him and, you know, I just wish him all the best, whatever he's doing. I know something else though, he's also capable of playing almost any kind of music, you know what I mean? I wouldn't pigeonhole him into just the, the jazz thing. Even though that's what he wants to play right now, I think, he can play almost everything you throw at him.